Hi guys, welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a Rocket League game. Well, ac so I've noticed Rocket League is a, is kind of, of a big game at the moment. And with lots of players playing around the world. So I thought, what if we could recre recreate that in Roblox? But, but the thing is, I don't want to copy Rocket League. Eek. Eek. Well, I want to, I want to kind, but I want to be inspired by it. So we're going to make, so in this tutorial, we're going to make Rocket League, but with boats. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you'll want to do is open up a new Roblox studio and we got to design our boat. So we got to get, uh, we'll, we'll design a boat over here. Here, so it'll be about the size of this. Alright, so we'll make it white. Hmm. Maybe we'll search up. Alright, let's. Alright, so oh, build build your boat or whatever you want under the player to be in. And so we're going to put it. And so we're going to make it white. Alright. White. In this tutorial, we're just going to work on the shops, the boats, oats, oats. In the next tutorial, we're going to make, make the round system. So, let's get, so, oh, now let's position in all of it over here. Alright, so, oh, let's, let's see, alright, so, let's see, Alright, so, uh, I've, I'm trying to make a boat, but I'm not the best boat builder, uh, so, oh, uh, we gotta, uh, so we're gonna just put, we're gonna make, uh, one more triangle over here. Uh, it'll just, that, that will just be the back of the boat. Uh, and so this is going to be the front of the boat, uh, and, uh, we'll just leave the boat like that, that, so, uh, when you're happy with your boat, oops, uh, when you're happy with your boat, I'd, group it together, and so now we've got a working boat. So now we actually got to work on the menu, so we'll change this to, uh, water. That kind of looks more like water. Uh, let's see, 0 0.5. Unlock all. Alright, so we'll set the transparency of this one to 7. And let's see, unlock. So 
So, now, I will put the boat down here. So, we'll make the water descend. And bam, we've got some water. We'll just do zero. So now we're going to do a camera. We're going to put a camera down in workspace. So put, put down a camera. Pop it up, up near your boat. And so we're going to put it in... We'll, uh, if if you've ever played Rocket League, uh, uh, the camera is kind of facing the side of the boat or a car. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Uh, face. We need to work out out where the camera's facing. In. Hmm. Let's see. Is it on the front? Oh, it's on the front so that's the front of it so we got to rotate it back so now uh, we're going to actually do some scripting so go into local script do a wait eight, zero point one seconds in local camera equals game dot workspace dot camera oh, cu current camera we Oh, I forgot art. We need to rename the part art to ooh, cam. So now uh, we do ooh, ooh, camera dot camera a uh, type equals equals enum dot art camera type dot scriptable. So now so. We're basically telling the game, all right, we want, uh, we want to use, we want to use the player's camera, uh, for our own stuff. And so now we're going to set the C frame of it. Camera dot C frame equals game dot workspace dot cam dot C frame. So why don't we try it out? Let's see. All right, uh, it looks like the boats aren't really, uh, it looks like the boat isn't uh, working out. Let's weld it together and we'll call it, it, boat. Now we are, we actually got to make the uh, th uh, thumbnail. So if you haven't already made a thumbnail, uh, just uh, just use a text label for your uh, uh, game. Permanent marker. <laughs> we'll, and we'll call it Boat League. Yep, that sounds original. All right, now we need a button or so an image button. And so we'll, we'll, we'll set, we'll set it over here. And so now all we need to do is round button. All right, we'll use this one for now. Ow. Put in Put in, uh, put in the image button. Inside the image button, get a text label. And so now uh, you need to set the background transparency to one. Set the text scale to uh, true. And now you can just write play. Uh, so there we go. Uh, a simple yet yeah. 
Well, yeah, this one looks kind of cool. So, oh, so how about if we if we'll make it so if if you click the play button, you'll you'll uh be put in the, you'll be a boat. Now, our a boat isn't exactly the easiest thing to code or weld. Uh, so, oh oh, we're going to put a uh, we're gonna put this over here. So, uh, so what we're gonna do is when you, you click play, uh, you're going to uh, uh, get reset back to your uh, character. So, uh, we do uh, script. Actually, we'll just do uh, we'll, we'll do it in here. Script dot parent dot dot screen GUI dot dot image button dot on or mouse button click connect function and so um, and so we're going to do local player equals game dot players dot local local player so now we're gonna do camera dot camera uh, type equals enum dot camera type dot custom camera dot camera uh, camera dot c frame equals uh, player dot game dot workspace dot camera uh, let's see how it goes there we go and now it's reset it back to the player uh pretty cool so uh the only thing left to do is is we forgot to do make a screen GUI uh, a script or parent dot screen GUI dot enabled equals false and that will be it for the video I hope you enjoyed if you do it please subscribe hit the notification bell and I'll see you in the next video peace out